uh, he uh, he navigates through the bookmarks. He can choose any one he wants, or he could run it as a playlist, so he can just swipe through it. Uh, and this market to share with a client, uh, or market to share by email, when he's looking at anything in particular, he can mark it to share, and uh, when he's done, or uh, at some point in time, he can share that playlist uh, via email with the client, and then there's this, uh, we can potentially share it by just sharing it directly with him, so the next time Isaac logs in, uh, he sees that uh, bookmark. Oh, that might, this might go inside there. Uh, yeah, we've got all these clients and markets and things like that, but there's a whole bunch of videos uh, in the system. The videos could be anywhere throughout here, but there's also one place I could go to to see all the videos. You just watch those. There's all kinds of quick facts that are going to pop up anywhere in here because they shimmer. You know, like, <laughs> and, uh, facts shimmer everyone knows that and then uh, you but we could go here and view all the quick facts and just choose them by random and when uh, he's uh, when Frank is preparing a presentation uh, he might go through the quick facts and uh, choose a couple interesting things tidbits he wants Isaac uh, to know about and add those uh, to the presentation uh, so these are kind of uh, loose things, but generally speaking, on any particular page, uh, he can bookmark it or email it as a PDF. That's me talking <laughs> through this, and I'll, if I say it that way, I'm going to see if I, if I listen to it and buy it, uh, uh, I'll think, that sounds okay. My gut is, it feels like there's some holes in here, and I don't know where they are. <laughs> And I think you'll find some holes if you go through your prototype, and you'll find some holes if you try to keep telling some stories and start planning or building a prototype. That's where you're going to find the holes. Right. Um, but it feels like it's mostly there. Um, and we haven't... Uh, things like preparing for a meeting and learning about it I don't know what that is supposed to be. Things like learning about it and preparing for a meeting uh, are bigger activities that uh, he and anybody goes into doing all this stuff. Uh, yeah. And then we got the installing the app and learning about the app. Uh, uh, somewhere there has got to be something missing here. So we're already violating the uh, five minute rule on this recorded video. No, actually, I wasn't recording for a while and I was re realized it was vertical, which is a bad practice. So. Uh, yes, I know exactly <laughs> no. that before. It's <laughs> like no way to actually fix yeah. that. So. I think if you view it inside an Apple device, it does it right. It will? Uh, yeah, it will. If you view it in your uh, iPhoto or there, it won't there. It's easy. You just <laughs> rotate it, but it'll work. Well, Send we got it to anybody, it won't work. <laughs> uh, uh, something in here, when he installed the app, there, we got to figure out somebody has got to. Uh, we need the. Uh, you know, uh, Frank is going to uh, see uh, the, uh, the, the, the app store. Uh, page, uh, description of this thing, and there's probably uh, uh, screenshots in there. Right, so this is stuff we, we're going to have to build and we have to start thinking about yeah, it in terms of the scope. it's there, it's part of the scope. And somewhere he starts at the app for the first time, and at the most applications I always end up with something loose at the front that is the uh, uh, orient uh, myself. Yeah kind of a thing. And there, from there I could create a login. I guess we're going to have to blow into that into more detail about what that is or what it means or, or if. Uh, I mean, or you may want to pull out your green pen. And, uh, but at least he needs some kind of a opening screen, splash screen. Uh, uh, yeah. Some kind of an opening uh, uh, this is uh, uh, what the app does. Right, five minute uh, rule. Screen. Yeah, 